In this video, we're going to go through two specific types of special series and um, determining when they're convergent and when they're divergent. A common question you'll be asked is, here's an infinite series, does this series converge or diverge? If you're able to narrow down the type of series it is, you can perform specific tests to make that question a lot easier to answer. Two of the series that's kind of easier to work with is a harmonic and a p-series. Now, a harmonic series is a series that just takes the form 1 over n, where n is the thing being incremented. Now, based off just kind of looking at it, it's not immediately apparent, but this series, no matter what, always diverges. Instinctually, instinctually you might think it converges just based on its form. There's a proof. I'm not going to do it in this video, but there is a, you know, pretty elegant proof for why a harmonic series is always divergent. But for now, that's just something to memorize. P-series is a series in, this, in a very similar form, 1 over n to the p, where n is the thing being incremented in your infinite series. And p is some constant, right? Some real number. Now, if it takes this form, this series converges if that exponent, if p is greater than 1. It will diverge if p is less than 1. And if p is equal to 1, it's no longer a p-series. It is a harmonic series, which is always divergent. Um, so that's pretty much it for the form of the series. If you can get something into this form, then you have easy tests to determine whether it's uh, convergent or divergent. Okay. So let's go through some examples. All right. So right now, this isn't in either one of the forms we want it in. However, I see simply just a uh, the thing we're incrementing, that variable, in the denominator. It looks like I can factor everything else out. Right. So I can split this up into a 3 over 2 times 1 over n. And the same way I'm able to take out something when I'm integrating, I can take out constants when I'm manipulating a series. So now I have 3 over 2 on the outside multiplied by the infinite series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n which is the form of a harmonic series. So that means this uh, particular series is divergent. And I think it's kind of, it, it's gonna become more and more noticeable why harmonic series and peer series are so nice to work with if you're able to identify it. Super easy test, right? The conditions are very easy to see. Uh, now let's take this one, right? Uh, with a little bit of manipulation. Um, the, if it's difficult to read, uh, 7 times n to the negative first over 6 uh, as an infinite series. So, once again, I want to deal with this exponent. Uh, any negative exponents, I just bring it to the bottom. So, I get 7 over 6n. And I'll factor out the 7 over 6. And just like above, we get a harmonic series, and harmonic series are always divergent. Okay. Let's take a look at our next example. So an infinite series, uh, cube root of n to the negative second. Okay. So I want to kind of change everything so I'm just dealing with as few exponents as possible. So I'll take this and convert it to a new form, n to the negative second over 3. And then from here, I want it to be a positive exponent. So just like the previous example, I change this to 1 over n 
to the 2 over 3. Now it's in the form of a p-series. So what's the kind of test for it? It's if p is greater than 1, then it converges. If it's less than 1, then it's divergent. So uh, given that p is less than 1, this series must be divergent. Now let's look at our last example, right? Infinite series of one over n times square root of n. So let's combine everything, right? It looks like we can get this into um, something where it's one over n to some exponent, right? So it's either gonna be p or harmonic. So I'm gonna combine these, right? The way I'm gonna do that is the square root of n can be rewritten as an n to the one half. And if you notice, a lot of this is just doing a bunch of algebraic uh, techniques. And then at the very end, the actual calculus comes in of just doing the test for convergence or divergence. Uh, this is one of the reasons you might have heard. It's super important to have your algebra solid before going into calculus. Okay, so I multiply these and I'm gonna end up by adding the exponents together. So the series ends up becoming 1 over n to 3 over 2. And now I check my test. It's in the form that I want, 1 over n to some exponent. It's a p-series, and the exponent is greater than 1, meaning it would have to converge. And that's pretty much it for harmonic and p-series. Very simple uh, tests to go through. And I think it's, it's kind of like if you ever get one of these and you're able to identify it, it makes a question so much easier because the actual conditions for convergence and divergence of either of these series are so simple. Um, that's pretty much it. If there are any questions, you can drop some down in the comments. I'll go ahead and answer it. But other than that, good luck, guys.